Welcome back, viewers. This is Crime Wolf Tears here with another exciting episode of God of War. Last we left off, we had finally retrieved the Light of Elfheim to activate the Bifrost, and now we are back in Midgard. We just came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not that over. Did you let that seed sop put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. <laughs> but you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. Ew. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari, been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me, wears a fancy green ring, owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Don Vari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. What realm you gents shaking off? Let me guess. All fine? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but, uh, I ain't allowed to anymore on account of the, uh, incident. What happened? Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking involved. What? Oh my. Don't judge me. You're the one came in all reeking of elf. Stirs <laughs> up a man's memories. Go on now. I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. Brock, what do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too damn big. Uh, all right. Sure, I'm open. Kid. Uh, we don't have any solid steel to upgrade any what armor. Next? It's a pleasure. Now fuck right. At all. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. Explore a bit. Let's see if we can.
wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, didn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Maybe I'm seeing things. So, know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? Huh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Ten hour fifty one. Now, if you don't remember, this is the gateway that Rock talked about earlier. Unfortunately, any gateway we see only brings us back to Brock and Workshop, so it's pointless right now. Come, boy. Scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Can you read it? Uh, these runes read death inside. Brock said his friend was dwarven like him. Wearing a green ring. Look at the bridge. I will be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Dwarven. But no ring. One of his crew? 
Scorch marks. And then along the floor and wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. We? I mean, I'll keep looking. Sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. It's weird that they call it a soul eater. Yeah, how can it eat if it doesn't have a mouth? Oh well. Focus up, boy! Care. I noticed the lack of ring while looting the body. Oh. No ring. We're not gonna find Brock's friend alive, are we? Boy. Yes, sir. Another map. Great. No, it's just like a Nord chest open that, but to get to it...
attached to the soul eater. <laughs> we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need to fight it, right? No, we will fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. Does that make sense? Fight it because you're scared of it? up his runic attack too soon or at least too late oh well mistakes happen Glad I didn't crush these earlier. Be strong, Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. Trace's runic attack to fully up uh, load or cool down, whichever. That is good. Leave it. You are stronger than you know. 
though. Thank you, Father. Let's see if that's the alchemist ring. Fury of the Ice Troll. I'll keep it in mind though. Green ring. Dwarvish inscription. The alchemist. But where's the rest of him? Ashes, most likely. Soul Eater got him. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. Read it. Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out Jim Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. Who else do you So now you're interested? Thou is alchemist. A reward was promised. <laughs> Yeah, he pretends that he doesn't care about fulfilling the task of finding the green ring by saying that he only cares about the reward, but he cares. What'd you find? You're an alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxi. <laughs> An axe pommel. Let's see what that does. I'll take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside for he groped. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. I just noticed. He's short, he's blue, and we just gave him a green ring. He's one of the guardians of oh well, you know, the Green Lantern thing. <laughs> anyway, we will stop here for today. Pick up 
in a little bit. This is Crying Wolf Tears, and I'll see you next time.